Wait, there's only one there now. Where's the other one gone? If every video I upload is a win, that totally won't make sense. There is always someone better. I hope they didn't sink them. Or there are always mistakes. We don't, I can't remember After all the cursed cannonballs and the cannonballs and the wooden planks and everything we gave them. But learning from mistakes is what makes you stronger. If you always win, you'll stay at a certain level and never get any better. Now here, after a long stream, I was AFK for a small break putting my daughter to sleep and Luke was AFK too. As you can see, I'm AFK just standing there. Oh yeah, Luke is. Yeah, they're coming in for the ram. As you can see, they have kegs on top. That would have been an option that I missed. Take the kegs, keg them. Problem solved. One guy boarded us. It's only Jackie and Marlon on the ship. He's on, he's on, he's on. Second guy boarded. He's, he's in the bottom deck. Alright, down with you. One sec, one sec. Yeah, I'm gonna fast forward to the sink. Third guy boarded. Of course, between Jackie and Marlon. Trying to stop these guys. <laughs> yeah, he sunk us, they sunk us, guys. Strangely enough, I was unharmed during all that time. None of these guys actually noticed me that I was AFK. Anyways, I swam up to the surface. I found our rowboat and a guy from the older galleon that we were friendly with during the stream. And then they tell me that that's the galleon that sunk us. So we sailed towards the outpost to try and get some supplies because we're obviously expecting them to come and attack us there. Fuzzy, he's here. That's him. Before engaging in battle, you have to know what your enemy is doing. Now this guy I noticed he never shot from a distance. So it gives me the impression that he made the mistake of coming with a blunderbuss. I wait for him, you notice. Now he pulls out a blunderbuss as expected. Now blunderbuss is easy to deal with in open spaces and open water. Get close, make him think they're gonna get you, they run towards you, you shoot him, kill them. Nice. We killed them, yeah. I'm gonna rewind that and show you again why I did that. See, the second I jumped towards him and back, he ran towards me because he thought that he almost can get me. Then you give him a no scope shot and he dies. Killed him. Nice. Usually blunderbuss players wait for two things. Either for you to get close after a failed sword lunge or somehow they get close to you. If you avoid either of these in an open space or open waters, they'll never get a chance. And no scope shots keeps them as a target. Because if I aim my gun towards him, he'll know that I'm about to shoot. So he'll start jumping left and right, making your target aim harder. Lure them towards you and no scope shoot if you're carrying a, a eye of reach, even blunderbuss or a flintlock and kill them. Oh, well, we've respawned next to a reaper's chest. Literally next to one. It's just behind us. Alright, I'll go get this reaper's chest. Kill two. Jackie board them. I tell Jackie to board them so she can provide some distraction for them. So I can go up and try and deal some damage. As you can see here, both of them are looking towards Jackie. Now this I realized there was a mistake blowing up these kegs because I could have easily went up the ladder, took the kegs, dropped them down and rained hell on their ship. But I guess now it's too late. Kill them. And I'm done. Oh, I died! Moving away from the galley. Right, we're gonna get there first, and we're gonna. I'm gonna go get the chest. We just go to get our reaper chest since we spawn back on the ship. There's no need to go fight a galley that has nothing on it. As we head to the reaper chest, let's raise sails. We realize that there's a brigantine that might be coming towards us. Five seconds before you drop. Drop now. Drop. Yeah, drop it now. All right, we raise our anchor and sails again. You always have to be prepared when there's a ship in the distance, just in case they're coming towards you. Oh, that brigantine's coming here. I've got it, I've got it. Is there a keg in there? I'm planning ahead here. No. No keg in the ship. So I decide to sword launch and surprise them, just like where I did my older video. Uh, who's on the anchor? Is it you, Jack? On the top right corner. Uh, we raised it already. Okay, uh, drop sails. Drop. Now what I'm doing here is I'm swimming towards them way before they can expect me because if you're coming to a ship as you get closer you expect a border, right? If I swim to them too far, they'll see my mermaid, just like how it is here. So I swam just a bit, the mermaid spawned, then I swam a bit further to keep the mermaid behind me. 
If I swim too far, the mermaid will spawn next to their ship and alert them that someone's about to board the ladder. If you notice, I stopped here. I'm not swimming any further since they're coming right towards me. So we're not going to have a lot of shots at this. All we need to do is distract them somehow. I think Fuzzy went to him, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. They're coming straight at you, Fuzzy. Straight at you. Mission success. I'll hit one off the ship for they sure. have no idea that I'm on their ship. Look at that. I even killed one still. Killed one. Now this guy noticed that I'm here. Anchor him, anchor him, anchor him. Just, just anchor him. They are anchored. Done. Now this guy is smart. Look at that. He put his sword away. I have no idea what weapon he's carrying. As I got closer, he gets out of the blunderbuss. And the other guy shoots me. I try and drop the robot and then I die. Now if you notice the difference between this guy and that guy is that this guy did not let me know that he has a blunderbuss. Which is the smart way of playing it. Uh, don't cut now. If you want to use a blunderbuss, even though I don't personally use it, you shouldn't show someone that you have it. Please say they have kegs. That guy put his sword away, waited yep. until I got close enough, then he immediately nope. got it out and did a no-scope shot. They do, they have got kegs. Yeah, they have, yeah. Oh. Now since they are focused into fighting us, they're definitely gonna come back, so I didn't take like the mermaid. Stay, stay at the outpost, they're, they're going straight at, at it, Fuzzy, they're going straight at it. Swim back right. to the outpost. I'm gonna swim there, yeah, I'm not I'm, taking... I've, I'm leaving the ship. I've left it. Jackie, right. stay where you are. Exactly, now they're coming straight towards us, to the ship, they're gonna U-turn. We made Jackie go straight the opposite way, so they can come towards us. They're above me, why are they above me? They went back. Exactly. Now that's what we expected. Now they came back I'm towards on. us. That's why Anchored. I didn't take the mermaid earlier so I can board them. Nice. They have kegs up, but I realize I don't want to make the previous mistake with the galleon. Since they're anchored now, Luke provides the proper distraction from the left side. Anchor's still dropped. I'm off the ship though. Fuzzy Bond is going up the crow's nest. I'll keep mentioning you. I'm distracting them. Brilliant. There it is. When you're used to the crew, you know what each one's role is. Oh, boys, your ship! Oh, it's all gone, it's all gone, it's all gone, boom. I'm dead, but they're done. Thank you for the loot, guys. Now, if you notice here what we did... Here comes the saltiness. Excuse me. Luke came just ahead before me to give him a distraction, just like what Jackie did. Thank you, robot. I have the robot. I'm going to the ship. I'm going to the outpost. <laughs> Boys, what happened to your ship? And now Luke is uh, having an educational conversation. Where's your ship gone? Ah, <laughs> oh, brilliant. I hope you enjoyed the video and the adventure. If you enjoyed what you watched, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Thank you for watching. Fuzzy and cool. All I heard was. <laughs>